Hi friends, uh, my name is Sulab. I am the cyber security expert. So today we are going to understand what is SIM and why do we require SIM solution in our company, right? So before we understand about the SIM, let's understand the typical corporate network environment. In typical corporate network, we will take the internet connection through ISP and it will be generated on the gateway router. Behind the router, you might have the firewall, you might have IPS IDS, you might have proxy, email gateway and so on, security device, right? And the through such you, you will be connecting your uh, end device like systems, laptop, desktop, servers through switch, right? So uh, each and every device in the network, each and every device which are connected to the network is recording their activity in the form of event. Let's say one connection is coming and hitting to the router, right? Router is a layer 3 device, it will record uh, based on the IP address, it will uh, route the connection, right? From where the connection has come, where it has to go, based on that, it will route the connection, right? Along with routing, it will record the activity. That means, what are the source IP, what is the destination IP, and so on, will be recorded in the form of logs, right? Similar in the firewall, once the connection is here to the firewall, firewall will record the activity in the form of logs, what is the source IP, firewall is the layer 4 device in the OSI model. So, it has the visibility of IP address as well as in the port number. Based on that, it will check what is the source IP, what is the destination IP, what is source port, destination port. Based on that, it will decide whether the connection has to be allowed or disallowed, right? So, along with allowing or disallowing, it will also record the activity. Whether the connection has been delayed, what are the source IP, what was the destination IP, what was source port, destination port, whether the firewall has allowed or disallowed the connection, everything will be recorded in the form of event, right? Then it will hit to the IDS IP, then it will to the hit to the switches and, and end server. So each and every device, like, like connection head to the end server, right? Server also record the activity in the form of event, what activity has done be done done by, by this connection, right? So server also will record the activity, right? You might have uh, seen on the servers also, whatever activities you are doing in the server, inside the server, everything is being recorded in the form of activity. Like you are deleting some files, you are creating some files, you are adding user, deleting user, logging, log out, everything is being recorded in the firewall also, not only, not only the network activities. Let's say on the router, you logged in the router, you run some command, right uh, you made some changes everything will be recorded in the firewall so each and every device which are there in the network will record the activity in the form of logs network activity the uh, which is coming through network so connections is coming and hitting the devices those record those activities will also record it apart from the, that the device own activities right like configuration change or any activities logging log out everything will be recorded in the form of event through, let's say, through some fire, some at attacker is attacking the, doing some attack, right? Let's say this attacker is attacking your company. Through firewall or some other device you came to know, your company is being attacked, right? So now what will you do in order to understand the attack, more about the attack, you log in on the router and see what is source IP, what is the destination IP. You log in the firewall, you have to log in the IPS, you have to log in on the switch and end server to see, to understand more about the attack so that you can take the remediative action right so you have to once the attack is happening you have to log in on each and every device to see to understand the kind of attack it is right so so all the activities that leave logging activities manual activity you have to log in on all those devices right so maybe attacker has already came your network has done his work in time went out and you are doing the historic analysis why right? right because we have to log in on each and every devices to see the logs again these kind of gen devices generate huge number of logs your firewall generate lakhs of logs your router generate lakhs of logs right so you have to so while attack is coming you will log in on each and every device you will see the logs right and you have to analyze the logs it will take some time to understand the logs. Again, those the devices which are uh, those devices which generate the logs, those logs are not easily human readable format, right? You cannot easily understand. If you are the expert on the firewall, you can understand the firewall logs, right? But you may not, you might not be expert on the IPS IDS. You might not the expert on the switches or end system, right? So it will take some time to understand. Maybe it will take five or six hours to understand kind of what kind of attack it is by logging manually right that means attacker has done his work in time it's only went out that means you are doing the reactive action you are not taking the active action you are doing the historic analysis right attacker has already done his work and went out right so so don't you think think that it's a delay process right so in order to and you are not taking any actions uh, for the active attack 
right you should actually uh, if any attack you are seeing in your network you should actively taking that taking the action right you should be able to block that attack on the firewall itself immediately right so it's taking time to analyze all those logs right so what you can do is here you can introduce sim right you can introduce sim solution here s i e m sim is the centralized log management system so what it will do is once your connection hit to the router router will record the activity in the form of event and it will send the real time logs to your sim it will hit to connection will hit, hit to the firewall firewall will generate the um, and record the activity and send the real time logs to the sim your ips will send the real time logs your uh, uh, and server will generate the real time logs and send it to the SIM. Your uh, switch will generate the uh, logs and send it to the real time logs to the SIM. Now, your SIM is collecting real time logs from all the devices, right? So now at the time of attack, you need not to log in on each and every device, device and waste your time, right? Instead of logging on each and every devices, you can log in on the SIM and you can search the logs right by sitting by logging on the sim you can search for the router logs you can search for the firewall logs ids logs uh, and uh, all those logs right because all those logs are forwarding logs to the sim the forwarding the logs is called as integration of the devices right so every devices are being now integrated with your sim so you need not to log in and each and every device to see the log instead you can log in on the sim Right. So once SIM has received the logs, we know that each and every device is having their own format to record the activities, right? Which is difficult to understand. Those logs are not on readable format. So what SIM does is, once the SIM receives the logs from various data sources, it normalizes the logs. That means it will convert the unreadable format logs to the readable format logs. Now you log in on the SIM and you can search the logs and those logs will be on more human readable format. So you can easily understand the uh, logs, right? Now you can take the active action, right? You need not to log in on each and every device in street. You can log in on the SIM and you can take the immediate action. Also, also in here in the SIM, you can keep the logs for a long time. Let's say for two years, three years, five years, 10 years, based on your company requirement, based on your compliance requirement based on the type of industries these these devices do not keep the logs for a long time maybe 10 days 15 days one month two months right but in your sem you can keep the log for one one year two years five years ten years based on your requirement also apart from uh, logging apart from central logging keep the log for long time and searching a reporting feature sme also gives you enables you for real-time monitoring correlation and alerting you can write some pre a known attack condition here right and based on that if condition are matches it will trigger an alert right let's say let us some malware attack has came here right and malware has uh, uh, has been installed on your system right and um, uh, attacker is now controlling your machine right that means bot has been installed and attacker is trying to create botnet right so what attacker will do is attacker will install some brute force software right so it will try to log in on other devices as well right so uh, through boot for software let's say some malware has been installed in your system right so uh, it has created the bot it is this called as bot right so now uh, attacker will try to create the botnet right so attacker will install some brute force software attacker will do some social engineering and will connect the collect the username of your corporate net network environment right then attacker will try to log in on other other devices right by keeping the username as constant and will try multiple password combination of password right to compromise other machines to create the botnet right then you will see high number of login failure right because on one time two times it will not be able to log in right it will try multiple combination of username and password right so you will see high number of login failure right so we can create the rules we can create the rules on the ES, uh, esm uh, sim which we call as correlation rules if there are uh, 50 login failure from particular user i should get an alert right uh, also there might be chances once the malware has been installed in your system it will try to give the control to the attacker server attacker command center server right then there might be possibility that your firewall has the acl right and acl is blocking the uh, traffic right but this is kind of attacker activities you can create the rule here automated you call a score lesson rule here if there are uh, 50 or 100 or whatever uh, the count is number of uh, denied traffic from same source i should get an alert 
right if anybody is using torrent in my system i should get an, my network i should get an alert right if there are any traffic a success uh, traffic from blacklisted ip and it is successful on the firewall i should get an alert right so those kind of core listen rule you can write in your environment on your sem right let's say if any firewall interface is down i should get an alert there might be possible that attacker has compromised your firewall and interface is down right there might be ddos attack and firewall has been compromised overutilized interface is down right so you can write fire firewall condition if my firewall interface is down i should get an alert right if uh, multiple user has been created and deleted at the very uh, minimal time i should get an alert right so based on the pre -att pre known attack condition you can write correlation rules here that is called automation rule or correlation rule and if the condition matches because it will correlate the logs from various conditions right if the uh, condition matches you should get an alert right let's say let's say attack came firewall has allowed the traffic but ips has denied the traffic right there might be possibility that it's a kind of malicious traffic it should be blocked on the firewall itself right you can write the condition here if any connection coming from outside it is allowed on the firewall but deny on the ips i should get an alert right so based on the various devices which uh, logs which are sending uh, you can create certain correlation condition here right as per the compliance requirement audit requirement every devices on your network like network devices router switches security devices and servers should be integrated that means should be forwarding the logs to your sem right so mainly so sem stand for security information event management system it enables you to collect the logs from various devices right real time logs from various devices keep the logs from uh, for long time you can set the retention period and it gives you searching and reporting feature right so this is the log management system also sem gives you enables you for real time monitoring correlation and alerting so you can automate some pre known attack conditions right so this is about the sem so there are say so sem is the technology security information and event management is the technology right so there are many vendors many tools available in the market right let's let's say you have bike right bike is the technology so you have uh, uh, you have bajaj also you have uh, royal enfield you have hero honda right similarly siem is also technologies there are many vendors many sem tool available from different vendors on the market let's say one is arc site micro focus arc site is plunk qradar logarithm semantech siem there are many sem tools so all the tools are having their own pros and cons based on that we decide right let's say arcsight is very strong in correlation engine real, uh, real time monitoring correlation alerting arcsight is very strong while splunk is good on data analytics creating very good uh, very good the dashboard reports splunk is very good on that right while qradar while qradar is easy tool you can easily understand right it's just a web based integration of the devices everything is just web based right so uh, qradar is easiest tool so based on the various criteria you have to select the tools right so this is all about the siem and why so we why we should use siem in, in network environment thank you everyone for joining kindly subscribe our channel if you have not yet subscribe also you can please like our video or also you can uh, share your uh, suggestions on the comment section thank you